What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies and today we're going to be checking out the new aftermarket part available after completing the week seven weekly challenges or five of them, I should say, and you will unlock this for the Bass B. Now, what this does is basically make this a lever action weapon. It kind of does function multi-purpose because it does have a faster fire rate from the hip, as you can see here. Then when you ADS, it is quite a bit slower. So that has the positive and negative. Obviously, also on top of that, we do get increased damage, increased bullet velocity, and an increased damage range. The other negative, I guess, on top of it having slower fire rate ADS is there's a slight decrease in the ADS speed, but I'm going to be honest, I don't really notice that. So we're going to be rocking this today. We're going to be doing our run going from base all the way up to legendary pack three by the end of this, probably. And we're just going to see how well this actually performs. Um, I'm kind of thinking it's going to be pretty powerful because of how much it's supposed to increase the damage. But I, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see here. So I'm going to make my way over to my first contract and we'll see what happens when we get there. Now, if you guys are curious, the loadout I am running in today's video, make sure you guys check the pinned comment down below as I always include it there. So you have easy access to it because you guys might actually want to try this one out. This one could be pretty cool. I didn't really have to build this for ADS speed at all because, of course, it does function better from the hip, or at least it makes it sound like that. So we should be able to use a combination of the two to see how well it'll actually perform. Let me pop my perks here real quick. Boom. Yep, and then we're good. I can do my napalm burst, but I can do it after here. So let's see how it does one shot at a time. Not crazy fast. From the hip, it's kind of crazy. I mean, it's much faster. Probably gonna run out of ammo. This is kind of funny. Hip fire, hip fire, hip fire, hip fire. Reload. Hip fire, hip fire, hip fire. It's so hard to actually. Oh, we got him. That wasn't too bad, actually. We didn't run out of ammo, so that's a good sign. All right. Grab that. Nice. Boom. Now, I could see there being some advantages to ADSing, like if a zombie's X distance away, but it is going to be significantly slower, like way slower. All right, we're going to go ahead and use our rare tool. Boom. Oh, let me go ahead and put the napalm burst on, too. That probably would have helped us a little bit in that one, but I didn't want to waste much more time because he was going to start hitting us. All right, this specific mimic's always good because you have a chance to grab ammo. Okay, 200 rounds. I feel like we might burn through ammo pretty quick for doing the hip fire only. But you got the smoke. Boom. Mercs for nothing. Okay. Let's see what happens here. I guess we're going to get an increase in, in bullets too once we pack after this guy here. Is he still in there? What's he doing? Is he stuck? Come on, buddy. This thing might actually do pretty crazy once we pack it here. That wasn't bad at all. Quick revive, that's extra for us. We'll hold on to a brain rot, because why not? Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Oh, let's do our pack one too, right? Pack a punch level one is here. So far, this thing's pretty solid. I haven't really done the ADS version of it. I would imagine now, um, oh, I guess I should have tested it before. Or one tapping the zombies in the head. That makes sense, right? And the ADS speed is crazy. This is a slower ADS speed? Like, what is it by default? That's nuts. Didn't even build for ADS speed. This thing is demonic. Now, I will say it is kind of rough with the... The iron sight's not great, but if you're planning on hip-firing a lot, it's not going to really matter. All right, we... Oh. Got to watch out. There's a freaking convoy. Convoy might even kill our dude. I forget what their range is, but they are, they are crazy annoying. Convoys are not my favorite thing. All right. We can actually try this guy ADS'd. That, that actually does a ton of damage. It was kind of hard to tell because I couldn't see his health bar the whole time, but that did a lot of damage, I feel like. So if he was closer, we could have just destroyed that dude almost instantly. Oh, God. There's that convoy again. All right. I need to make my way into to uh, the tier two zone and see if I can't grab myself a contract. So I'm going to run over there and we'll see what we can make happen. I have a feeling if we hit fire and we're able to hit enough crit shots, this thing could be insane. Now, if we got to get, if we get a disciple first here, it's, it's going to be quite interesting. I feel like though, if we, again, with the hit fire thing, if we can hit our target accurately with the crits, I feel like we're going to do crazy damage. 
And we got a disciple, so I guess it's time to find out, right? Go ahead and run from these zombies. See how we can... I mean... It's kind of hard to tell with it. It's kind of nice when they get close, you don't have to really do anything. I mean, for a pack one blue, I mean, I'll take it so far. Seems good. That's someone's contract? That's just a regular disciple? Oh, yeah, it is a disciple. Regular old disciple. Guess we'll get a little glimpse into what it's going to be like to fight. Not that bad. I mean, the hip fire is not crazy fast. All right, well, I have a feeling we might actually be able to do it. We're using napalm too, which is kind of like one of the negatives I, f I find. If you don't have the correct ammo mod sometimes, depending on the weapon. Trying to eliminate the uh, target that you're going for, like in this case, we have a napalm burst on a disciple. Might not work out well for us. All right, can we break your hand quickly? Three shots. This is gonna be a doozy. See if I can hit accurately. That's what it comes down to here. You only really want to to uh, ADS if you're pretty sure you're not going to be accurate. Or if he's far away like that. I mean, I don't know. If it's not as bad as I thought. I'm like, what? I felt like I got cheesed a little bit right there. Why is this thing shooting so slow? Shoot faster. It's weird. There's times where I feel like it's shooting. Oh, he's really doing that move a lot. Okay, so ADS is not going to happen. It's weird. No matter how fast I tap the button, the cap of the hip fire just doesn't seem to be the same. Yeah, we're never killing this thing. Maybe I lied. Maybe we can kill it. It's just going to take us 10 days. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh my god. It's going to do his ability again. I mean, he's just chilling. This is like the most chilled disciple ever. So I might as well reload. Get another plate in. Am I not hitting him in the same spot? Oh my god. This is kind of what I was talking about when it comes to zombies, though. Like, where's our zombies at? Okay, do not spam ADS, because that'll... That's probably part of why it felt so slow. Because it has a hard time tra transitioning between the different speeds. One, two, three. Oh my god. We gotta reload. This is the slowest. Oh my god. We gotta just stick with it. We're almost there. Oh, if I could stop missing. Okay, that should be it. Holy. Talk about slow. That was a fun little challenge. I'm glad we actually were able to do it. I thought that was chalked. All right, we're going pack two. We can't, we can't do any more of that. That was crazy. All right, there's no way we get a second disciple, right? Back to back disciples. Ah, oh, we get a mimic. Okay, guess we'll see what happens then. This is probably one of the more crazy aftermarket parts as far as how much it actually changes the way the weapon looks. Like this definitely does not look like a bass V to me for the most part, but maybe it does to some of you guys. I don't know. I definitely think a lot of the weapons kind of fail to change what the or the aftermarket parts fail to change what the weapons look like. So sometimes that could be a weird kind of a little deal with these. So this one actually has the most notable change, I think, for more some of the weapons. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Holy. This thing was way behind. Let me get outside.
Okay, I'm gonna hit him. Nice. Where's it going? Is it going all the way around? That's actually kind of fast. So that might be the secret. Quick scope. Boom, we got him. Pack one crystal, quick revive. Nothing too crazy. And we got it right before that guy really could have helped us out. He was close, but not quite. All right, we managed to take out a disciple of the pack one blue. So, of course, we would have been able to do it pack two. We went and did our pack a punch two um, tier two bounty as well. So, now we're going to go ahead and head over to the pack a punch three machine and see what we can do in the high threat zone. I'm pretty interested to see what this thing can do. It's kind of nice to see the, the quick scope feature there. Definitely seemed like an improvement to the fire rate to some degree. There is, definitely seems to be some sort of weird bug that takes place when you're transitioning from being hip fired and ADS in any way. And it kind of makes it feel like it slows the fire rate down more than it's supposed to, but maybe, maybe it's just odd from time to time. But we are jumping in here to the pack a punch machine. We should be able to, I don't know, make some magic happen, I think. Boom. We do have a legendary tool. At some point, we will be popping that as well. This is a interesting. A, a little front ADS, or not the front, a little front iron sight. Reminds me of like a old MP7 or MP5 or something. I like the little needle thing. Oh, look at that. He's just standing still. We are not doing much damage to him, are we? I mean, there's a big damage drop off in this game. See, that seems fast. But at times, it doesn't feel like that's always the same. That's the part that's weird to me. One tap. Look at that. We one tapped him. Someone eliminated a, a mega abomination and didn't grab the essence. Is that what happened here? Or didn't grab the reward at all? It's kind of weird. Unless they were just going to pack a punch and it just happened to be something they didn't want to do. Okay, well, let me get some ammo here. Let me see if we can get a, a contract or a mega bomb, something to get us started. Might as well make a quick pit stop to grab the rest of our perks since we have the discount, right? Hellhounds tried to come and save the day for the zombies, uh, the zombie side. They were like, you know, we're going to take this guy out. He thinks he's going to get some freaking perks. Without getting hit by the hellhounds? Get out of here. We got a mega abomination. Okay. These guys are after me. Get across that. Oh, is this the one I think it is in the open? Oh, man. Okay. Um, How do I want to do this? That's a great question. Might have to just go over there and wing it. Do we have backup self-revives? I think we have at least one, right? Hopefully we do. We may need it. We may need it. You hear how many zombies just spawned on me? What is that? That's crazy. Whoa, there's a mimic over there too. All right, we have at least one backup self. And we have one decoy currently. There's our there's our mega bomb. Horde's not looking too crazy yet. I don't know if we just didn't engage with the zombies enough or what, but. Okay. That wasn't too bad for a pack one blue. Or pack him. Pack one blue. Pack three blue. What am I talking about pack one blue? Non legendary is kind of what I was getting at. Maybe it has something to do with moving. We're moving backwards now. Oh, I messed up. Holy smokes, I'm surprised I didn't die there. Alright. I didn't want to... I was trying to plate and my guy pulled out the fist. Bro. Bro. 
All right, we should be good now. I mean, ideally, it doesn't matter how much health he has as long as his face is blow up. Yeah, see if I switch to the other input, I'm so chalked. I might go down here. The distance saved me. I need to get up on this building real quick. I need to get some sort of plates. Ooh, there's one. Dude, look at this guy. The zombie in closest to me was just dodging everything. Matrix. He's a matrix zombie. Oh, I didn't even get a single plate. Bro, like, look at that. That's a Matrix zombie. Like, there's no way I'm not hitting that guy. He's right in front of me. Gonna go up the ladder. She 42 fake him. A little bit of a challenge here, because I don't have plates. Oh, there's one. We got a plate. Now I can actually chow them while they're coming up instead of... As they're all up here destroying me. Okay. Yeah, though, it's it's kind of weird. If it if the hip fire speed or the fire rate seemed more consistent, which is the one part I feel like I'm having an issue with, it would definitely be an improvement. Like, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get up here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's exactly what I want you to do. Should, should destroy that face. Pretty easy. We just need to destroy the other one. Yes, there we go. Now we're looking good. Just keep, just keep firing. Just keep firing. Might as well reload. Try to move a little bit. Maybe he gets angry and starts shooting his laser. I don't think we're going to need to. He's going to die. He's got to do it. There we go. Opened it up. We got it. We got a dead wire. Let's go. Some essence, some essence, more essence. We need some plates, though. Where's our freaking buy station? We're going over there. We are definitely going over there. We need some plates. Do you want Mangler? You out there to... F oh. Now we have a buddy. Yeah, I'm convinced the zombie closest to me is actually, like, a Matrix zombie. Bro, what is that? Look how many zombies are on me. Mangler, help me out, brother. Holy. The whole zone just started chasing me. That was actually nuts. I don't know if it was like a culmination of a bunch of zombies that just aggroed me and kept aggroing, but there's still look how many there are. I need another energy mine here. Yeah, the zombie, the zombie, the front zombie is, bro, take damage. It's like he's, it looks like the hit markers are hitting him, but they're, they're not. I'm like imagining things or something. I, I. How are you not taking more damage? There's something weird about that. I feel like the zombies that are further away are taking more damage than the ones that are right up front. Something feels real weird there. We got a lot of drops there, at least, I guess. Alright, let me try to hit this thing one more time. That was crazy. We had the whole zone just coming after us. Alright, we do have a dead wire, which is kind of sick. Um, feel like I kind of want to just go legendary with this, just to see how we do. Because I do have this dead wire, we could potentially, based on time, um, attempt to see how we do against the stormcaller. But I feel like that's not going to go well. Let's see. Let's go legendary. Let's go over here and do a mega bomb first, and then we could try the the dead. Not the dead war. We could try this storm callers next.
Just in case. Because if it ends up taking a bunch of time, then it does. But at least we we could say we did the other parts we wanted to do first. We did our bounty, which was kind of sick. I felt like it would have went faster, but it's kind of tough to keep up with the zombies. Certain weapons like this are just much harder because it's an individual zombie thing. Like you can't like go like this and, and hit multiple at once because you're only firing so many bullets at once. That dude's face exploded that quick. Zombie in the back was trying to cheese me. I thought he was going to get hit by the laser. I was dead wrong. Play it up. Oh, another face down. The middle face should already be gone. I hate when he does this move. It's so stupid. Should be the limit how many times he can do it in a row. The hell? He didn't even... He didn't even do his attack for very long. Hey, come over here. Oh, we're not even getting crits. There we go. Yeah, he's gone. This thing's pretty strong. How was... Did we get the last... Yeah, I was going to say, did we get the last bullet off here? Okay, no plates again. All right, zombies. I'm going to take a break. Thank you. Nice. Some plates. Let me grab whatever I got here. Ooh, a symbol monkey. Yeah, this thing is kind of hard to keep up with. I don't... I feel like... I don't know. It's tough. I feel like that might be the most effective way, though, for sure. At least against zombies, because you're guaranteed to hit the crit. And it's faster than being ADS'd. And almost as fast as being hip-fired? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of interesting. Definitely feels better when I do it that way. If I'm being completely honest. Alright, so let's see here. We have some time. Should I try one? Should I try one? You know what? I'm going to try another Mega Bomb just doing this. Because then we can see, I don't know if it's going to work because his head changes so often, but I think we have more freedom the other way, but we'll see. Oh, someone's down. I don't know, that went pretty quick. Seem like I don't know. Seems like it's faster. Like his. The hard part is it, it kind of has you set up to hit the middle face, which I don't really enjoy. You should be able to hit whatever one's like closest to where you're aiming, I guess. All right, it worked really well for the middle one. I mean, it's not terrible for this side, but... Okay. I can't really... Well, zombies are on top of my head. It's so hard to actually do it. Because now I have to, like, kind of swipe. I mean, it kind of works. It's kind of better... I think with something with three heads, probably not so great. Can we get a break from you, zombies? You guys build up into too many of you. I just I don't have any plates for you. Where is it? Plus, you guys are tier three. What? I got one plate out of ten zombies. Are we trolling? I think we are. All right, we got one more challenge we want to try. And I'm expecting this to go poorly, but we're going to do it. I need to get more plates first. Um, we are gonna pop the dead wire on. 
We are pretty much good to go here. Oh, we got double disciples right here. We can see what... Oh. They're, they're, I mean, they're tier twos. Yeah, we like two shot them. That's pretty strong. Did he not die? He might not die. I thought he did. All right, we got some plates. We're pretty stocked on plates. Should be pretty good on ammo. Right, let's give it a shot. Stormcaller, here we come. The grand finale. What the hell? Oh, that must have... Where'd that disciple come from? Someone's down over there. I have one decoy. Why do people gotta be going down? I'm messing with my plan. Alright, I gotta get a decoy so I can go try to get this guy up real quick. I'm on a time limit here. This guy's not helping. It's all good though. I can try to get him up because there's nobody else here. Probably no one else gonna come over here. I just hope he gets up and runs away because if he goes down again, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be coming back. Alright, we got him up. Hopefully he gets out of here. And then he's not smart. Bro. Well, I pick I'm I, I'm expecting this guy to run away. Like what a Run away, bro. Get out of here. Holy smokes. Get out of here, bro. Run for your life. All right, we're good. I got some plates. Hopefully that hopefully that guy gets out of here. He's at the he's at the buy. My lord, I gotta go get freaking decoys one more time, and then we can try this for real. All right, funny enough, I actually see the storm collar pretty clearly where I'm at right here. Okay, max ammo, we're good. Oh, he went further away. There's an awful lot of zombies spawning right here. Where'd he go? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, yo, what? What, what are these zombies doing? Yo, what? I'm not in tier three. Yo, what is happening right now? What is up with these zombies? Bro, hello? This is ridiculous. Okay. Now could we actually get a chance to do what we were doing, hopefully. Look at all the plates on the ground. Is he any, indi any indication of what we were working with there? Dude, what? I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Like, hello? I'm like... Can you move, zombie? Thank you. I, I don't think these zombies are going to quit coming over here. Slow down. Stop coming to this side so I can... Take... Like... What is going... Are they just spawning over here? I am not inside the circle. Holy smokes, these guys are tanky. This is why I thought it would be kind of impossible. It's just insane. I don't even see dude now. Oh, he's right there. We're actually doing good damage to him. We just can't consistently hit him. Okay. Gas is about to start coming. Now he's hiding. I can't see.
All right, this is no, there's no way. There's no way. There's too the zombies messed it up. I didn't I didn't have enough time. I tried to go over there before and it just didn't work out. It is what it is. That was ridiculous. The zombies spawning on that side for how long they did. And that's kind of why it makes it so crazy is like eventually it just dies off. Like what in the hell? All right, we didn't accomplish as much as I was hoping to because I was really hoping we'd get more of an opportunity to take on the Stormcaller, but it is what it is. This weapon is definitely fun to use with this aftermarket part. I think it's definitely worth giving it a shot. It was very good to use against the Mega Abominations, but I do think it is a bit inconsistent, especially when it comes to the fire rate. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.